So, all right. Um, let's join. Close this. Close this. Close this. Okay. Let's get going. Um, good G6. Wrong logo. There we go. Okay. Go here. I'm gonna go B6 here. Not the best move, but it's playable, I think. Benjamin moving very fast here, so I, I kind of want to pick up the speed a little bit. Go here, hit the pawn. Moving, moving. Moving, moving. Oh, oh, oh. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I'm talking so much, but anyway. I do a B5 here, maybe. No, let's just go for it. Because the E4 is hanging at the end of this line. I mean, I don't actually know if this is good, by the way, but I, I just don't want to waste time. It goes queen b queen b3 which is actually um they can go here about it about it could have played c5 too actually maybe c5 is just simpler but whatever and go bishop a6 i can also go c5 maybe yeah let's go c5 because b5 of knight b6 and then c4 too um do i take with a bishop or do i take with, i think i'm gonna take with a knight or let's take with a knight i don't know if it's right but i'm gonna do it anyway so i want to hit the pawn on e4 maybe can't i take or am i stupid That's just a blunder. Okay, I'm up a pawn here in an end game. I probably will win this game now. Okay, let's bring the king closer. I'm trying to force an end game here with a um, bishop versus knight. Let's see. Um... There's knight c3, there's also king e5. I think I'm winning here though. This should be winning, I'm way up on clock. This is just winning, I, I mean, this is just winning. I just rotate the horse eventually. Or is this actually winning weight? Did I mess this up? I 
When was the last capture, by the way? There we go, next game. Yeah, let's keep going. I thought that was winning, but maybe it's not the two versus one. I assumed it was winning. Caviano won, okay. Go round two, tough first game, we got the win. That was payback for yesterday in, Arena, in um, Title Tuesday. I probably would have given him a draw if, if, if it was, uh, if not for yesterday in Title Tuesday. Let's go Knight A3, play D4, all very standard here. Knight B5, of course. Don't lose a single game, I'll do my best. It depends on the pairings a lot too, though. Let's go here. There was bishop f4, bishop g3, maybe. I don't know. Okay, queen b6 looks kind of weird to me. So I'll play queen b3 to trade. go here oh my god i just blunt oh my god i'm blind the fudge was that oh my god i just blundered a piece for no reason what the heck <laughs> i just went blind oh my god that's so bad maybe it's not so bad though i take no it is just bad let's go up here maybe it should be six take no, I can't go Queen C4 either just here oh I can't I, what am I doing actually okay he, he didn't take advantage of it I mean I'm still worse here, obviously, but it's maybe okay now. I, I've, I have two pawns for the piece, at least. That's the one upside. Um, go here. Knight before was a move too, but he just drops back. Ah, maybe at knight e No, knight e5 did nothing either. Woman, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty woman, get way. Pretty woman, me. What am I doing, actually? He had knight c7, which he missed. Got away too slow here, by the way.
<laughs> Let's go again. Next game. <laughs> Let's go again. Um, nobody asks how. Just keep the game going and eventually slag Gata. This is exactly why I'm not going to play chess when I'm like 50 years old. For this exact reason. Because when I'm too old and I'm slow and I'm just getting cheese and flagged when I'm winning out of the opening, like I'm just not going to be able to live with myself. Like it's, it's why it's why I won't be. All right, let's play the classic Smith Moore Gambit here. Let's treat, treat, treat this like a true, uh, true, uh, true, true viewer arena. Let's go Knight F3. Go here. Go here. Rook D1, of course. All right, we're gonna treat this like a proper viewer arena. Aren't you pushing 40? No, come on. Don't insult me. I'm 28. Be serious. Pushing 40? Are you crazy? talking about <laughs> give me a break all right I've got e5 massive threat here Windows 95 yep okay he's super slow Who's um isn't this just losing yeah, I think I'm just gonna win the game very quickly. Important win to important win to get a third win in a row. Um what changed? I thought you were doing the Rainy Kings. I mean, I've kind of returned. I feel like it's a little bit less uh snipey than it used to be. There's still a problem with it, but yeah. Yeah. Who is Tiger V Shape again? That is Gotakamski, the famous former uh, world championship contender. Yeah. Why is my hair in the way? Maybe I need to get a haircut. Yeah. Yeah, hey, former five-time United States chess champion. Is, uh, no, but I still have Queen H5, don't I? I still have the same trick. I'm going to take because I want to win this game quickly. Okay, that's a free juicer. Let's take it. Why is my hair blowing so much? Okay, um, let's just go. Um, how do I win this game quickly? Is the question. I think I'll go here. I didn't want to do this, but it's still good enough. A four, attack the horse. Uh, he saw an IC5, which is kind of frustrating, but whatever. Uh, let's go H4, I guess. Kind of miss playing this a little bit. He missed that. That's a free pawn. I'll go back. Go here, F5 incoming. Now I go E7. And it should just be clean because there's a classic Porkaroo here. Next game. Okay, next game. Let's keep going. Up to nine points. Three up, three down. So far, so good. Try to repair the rating. Okay, another relatively weak pairing, so I, I need to win this game quickly. Let's play the Bee Feeder. Or no, let's play the Ben Oni. I'm gonna play a Benko Gambit, I guess. Let's go here. This is actually kind of really weird. I'm just playing randomly. Those castle. I don't know if this is good or bad. Just take. Let's go here, Knight B6. Maybe Knight A6, Knight C7 also playable, but this seems okay. Go here, hit the pawn on D5. I should just be much better here.
If it was a four that hangs upon here, I'll take. Take. Go here, hit the hit the checkmate button. Classic a lobster pincer check and mate. There we go, another win. Next game. Keep going. Up to 13. So far, so good. This is like disrespecting 2400 ELO. Pretty much. Pretty much. Next game. Come on, let's go. Ouch gameplay, yes, indeed. Okay, I get Jose early. Um. Oh. Did he mean to do that or was that a mouse slip? I don't know. I mean, this is not very good for black if I'm precise, but we'll see if I can actually be precise or not. I mean, let's think. If I go F4, check. Knight G4, I mean. Okay, he goes there. I mean, A5 looks like a good move. I don't know if it is. I'm gonna play it anyway. Go here, Bishop E3, of course. I can actually pre-move it almost. Now I think I'm gonna go Knight D4, Knight B5. I mean, I should be much better here if I play this precisely. E8, logical move. I can play F4, I can also go Queen E2. 22 makes sense because I still keep knight b5 in my back pocket. Now I should go f4. Key here is how do I take advantage? I mean, knight f4 looks very attractive. I mean, g4 or g5 also. I'm going to go g4, g5. I'm just going to attack here. Go h4. If h5, I just take and go. I mean, this looks terrible. I'm not. I don't even care about the queen side. I'm just going all in for the big checkmate on the king side. I think I'm just mating him basically. I just go here and rook h1. Like I don't think you can actually stop it. Let's just checkmate. No, we're going to get a win. Big win here. If g6, just queen h4. If he takes, I take. He's just getting mated on the h file. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, let's just make sure there are no tricks. If I play knight b5, queen c4 doesn't do anything. Okay, so I go rook h1. Yeah, he's just getting mated here. Resigns next game. Big win here. We we sort of beat Jose, who was trying to build a streak there. Important win. Space bar is two arcade games, Space Invaders and Oregon Trail. Okay. Okay, next game. Come on, let's go. Yeah, that was an important win early because it sort of like it's important to get Jose off a of streak. Because Jose is the one guy who is capable of cheesing a lot of these lower rated players quicker than I am. Borna can do it too sometimes, but Jose at least in Blitz is much better than than anybody else. Yeah. This guy's 3K. Jose's a good player. He's a good player. I, I don't know if you're trying to imply something or, you know, like you're being weird, but anyway. Well, let's just go here. Why? Let's go here. <sighs> Let's go here. Okay. I don't feel like I've got. I don't have the position I want in this game at all. Uh, I'm gonna pressure the pawn on e5 if I can. Um, that's a free pawn. I'll take it. Take. Um, let's just go here. I don't even know what to do, but he is just to win the game without like letting it get too chaotic. Let's go here, f five somewhere should be winning. Let's 
through here. Trying to win this game quickly to put, put the hurting on him. Okay, he's deep in the tank. Let's go up four. I want to play off three and just attack. Continue to just kill him on the king king side. Was rook d4? Okay, logical move. I think I'm just gonna play off three anyway. I don't care. Maybe I can go for a lolly on g2 down the road. See what he does. Deep in the tank here. He goes g3, so I'll go here to hit the pawns. Let's go C5 to attack the Rook. I need to pick up the speed a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just insane. Hit the Knight. All kinds of fossils exist now. Go here. Hit the Queen with a double. I'll probably resign. Who is Roger Frisbee? I don't know who Roger Frisbee is. Okay, next game. Up to 21. Pretty good start, actually. Very, very good start. We're on six out of six. Normally, I think you get about, what, 30 games? Is that how many games you get? I feel like Norm is somewhere around 30. Okay, another soft pairing. So we really need to run it up now. I feel like it's somewhere like, tw is it? I feel like it's somewhere around 30 games. Is that how many games you get in? I feel like 30 is around the number of games that you normally get in, but I could be wrong. Yeah, we'll do the speed run later. Yeah, I mean, I'm moving as fast as I can right now, basically. 2,500 is a soft pairing, yes. I mean, it's someone who's 800 points lower rated than me. Ew, what is A5? Is that a mouse slip? That must have been a mouse slip. He must have been A6 and he slipped with A5. Very ugly move to play. Maybe not. Maybe he intended it. I don't know. Let's go here. Gonna go queen h4 here, pressure. Probably I should have traded the bishops, but whatever. Like I'm really trying to press hard here. I'm trying I'm trying to cheese them in a hurry. Go here and hit the pawn, maybe. Wow. Um go here how do I do this actually I don't hmm I'll take and go here maybe it's not it's a little bit edgy it's still good for me but it's a little bit edgy um night g5 is that a free pawn you want to rook g6 or something? Maybe. I think I'm going to scoop my king out of the way here. Just be safe. Because knight e5 is a very obvious move here. But knight e5 is no good because there's a queen d4. Oh, maybe I could have done it anyway with queen e8 and 8, actually. Maybe I could have. Maybe. Let's go here now. Va. Oh, yeah, como va. Okay, I'm gonna have to reroute my pieces here. The pawn on e6. He is defending this pretty well, by the way. Kind of frustrating, but that is what it is. Here. Um, 
I think I'll just take and take. This still should be very good for me. Knight g3, just king h2. Oh. Got this move, okay. Let's go here. I'd be a little bit careful. He's actually playing this end game pretty well, and I'm not playing this particularly well myself. But he's getting way too low on time, which eventually will doom him in the end game, unless I just hang a piece for no reason. Next game, let's keep going. Keep going, next game. That was a solid defense, so he, play he played well, just not good enough. Uh, so we're playing Car C Caroline Kwan Lover, right? Or Carol Kwan... Car or sorry, Car Carol... Carol Kwan Lover, sorry. Let's go here and take and play E6. Let's go E6, Knight D7, Bishop D6. Keep it going, Knight B6. All pretty standard here. Let's go here, Bishop D6. All very good. Suspicious? I don't know, maybe. Oh. Let's go here. Well, I play Scandinavian. I can play many openings. Just a question which one's right. Um, go F5. Tickle the queen. You cap Generally, you want to capture towards the center and build a diamond hands formation in the Karo Khan. That's why I would have captured with the H pawn. Um, what's castle? Go here, trade some rooks. Let's go a5 maybe I'm gonna fix this pawn in a weak square down the road I assume eventually I'm winning here it's all right all right all right I miss rook g3, actually. Stupid. I think I can go here now, though. I should be winning eventually. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Let's go here, me, rook g8. <laughs> All right, enough already. Yeah, exactly. Do I have rook g4 here? All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay, anyway. I have 90 so much just check me next move, by the way. <laughs> Yikes, yeah. Just checkmate.
Okay, another another weak player, 2700. All right, all right. Okay, um, let's go here and table with Bishop. LMAO, Hikaru, yes. Uh, let's just go H4 and H5. Yeah. Hikaru, please stop. Okay, yeah, thank you. I have a way to win, so I'll go back. Um, wait a second. Let's go here. Let's go here. Don't give him your day job. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I think he missed a win, by the way. Whatever. What do you, what do, you do? Oh, he went nine to four. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'll go here. I'm gonna have to cheese him on the clock, probably. Connecting my pawns here. Let's go here and here. I might not be winning this easily, by the way. Oh, great. I blundered Rook G2 as well. Oh, that. No, I've totally bungled this. okay isn't this oh no shoot it's a draw fudge Wait. 
Still not, I'm still too far away. And I can't win to draw. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Play right here. Let's go here. Last two games felt a little bit weird. Oh, right. I'm playing this guy who always goes E5. I, I forgot that I just walked into something again. Ah, so dumb. Let's go here. No, the last two games have felt a little bit strange to me. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's Arena King, so it's, it's par for the course, but yeah. Germany in a recession? Okay. Of course, I should have gone to H8. <sighs> am I getting mated here or something? Probably I am. I don't see it actually. Where I'm Uh, this looks very dangerous. Am I actually getting made it here or not? It's a question. I need some floss too, but whatever. Wait a second. I guess I'll wait till the end of the game, but. Oh, I wonder. Ay, ay, ay. I guess I'll go here and just C3. Wait, I also just have Chuck, which is good enough. He's too low on time. There's just no way. Um, let's go here. It's rookie a six. I should win the game. Actually, I just, I think I'm just going to walk my king up like king here and then king c4 and rook a six. Our signs next game. Let's keep going. 32. Uh, now, of course, I start getting bad pairings, obviously. I'm going to go C5 here.
I guess I'll go H5. It's not a move I want to play, but I guess I'll do it. I also have Bishop H3, I realize, but... Um... Yeah, let's go here. See what he does. Very strange position here. I mean... Let's go here and take, maybe. It's also Queen E... Eh. So I kind of like Queen E6 just to guard everything. See what he does here. Goes Bishop F4. Oh, great. I missed that. Right, I have Queen F5, maybe. The heck. Lovely. Just blundered again. Over here, though. Maybe it's not so bad. It's not great, but it's not horrible either. I'm going to go B4 here. Try and open this up a little bit more. It's also knight c4 maybe as well. I'm mean, like my bishop on g7 is actually very badly placed here, but he, he doesn't go for the idea that I think was the most dangerous. We'll go here. Keep pressure on the diagonal, basically. We'll go here, maybe knight d6. I'm trying to sort of create a mess. It's a free pawn if I want it. Do I want it is the question. Takes, takes, take. Takes, 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 knight c4, knight d6. I think I'm gonna take it. It's a free pawn, why not? This way my bishop's active too on c3 versus getting hemmed in. I feel like if I can get e5 somewhere, I'm fine. Like takes, 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 I have rook d8, which is fine. So I feel like, I feel like I'm okay here, but maybe I'm not. I mean, I could have actually. I could have also gotten e5 first. What is this? Go here. Also, knight b5 maybe to guard the bishop. Here. He's starting to misplay. I'm starting to actually outplay him a little bit in this end game. I mean, I have e5. I also have just c4. Yeah, c4 looks very strong. Because suddenly the pawn... Oh, he had knight c2 back, which he mi missed. Um, okay, slow down. This is where I need to be very careful and not just flub this up like an idiot. First things first. Let's play knight d4, hit the rook. I mean, I have c3 in here. I also have e5 in here. And e5 looks right. Here. I think I can go e6 here. So if he takes, I take. If he goes knight of 6 king g7, the knight's bad. A four of this. Of course I take. Can't take with the rooks of knight e2. He's gonna start pushing p. This should be winning for me. I feel like. A five. Okay, so if I... If I go C2, what's this move? Fe6? I don't know. I'm just going to go for it. Takes out Bishop A3. Should be winning. I don't see it actually. King g4 is also fine, but I don't want to give him any weird tricks.
Oh, I've got knight f5 too, yeah. That's how I do it. Next game, let's keep going. Tough game, but it's a win. Fabiano will play playing until they're too bored to end. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on over there, but they get another tough pairing. Uh, uh. Play the actual Alapin here. Another bad pairing. Jose, by the way, getting easy pairings now, unfortunately, while I get stuck with the tough ones. I think God and I already played this like last week or something. I feel like we already played this. Oh wait, no, he can't go here because of E6 actually. That's why he's thinking. Um, I guess I'll go check. I mean, there is E6 and Queen G4, which could be interesting. Logical. Play Knight F3 here. I could have taken two, but I didn't like it. Um, an A4 is a move. I think I'll just take and play D4. I should be better here. I just don't know if it's like a small advantage or a big advantage. Knight's off sides on G4. logical I'll play h3 to stop any bishop g4s he's down half a minute already so like I just need to keep Gata under the under the gun um let's go c4 let's try to get really chirpy here and aggressive with like d5 and knight c3 and all kinds of attack ideas because he's wasted a ton of time like he's trying to reset his pieces and, and play he takes of course I take of course I go here to hit the queen take go here betrays he's getting mated I mean he's so far behind in development here this really should not be acceptable uh if I take and go knight d6 I mean this looks horrible knight f7 incoming I mean God is trying to play like a uh he's trying to play like um like someone who's playing who's playing a 2400 who's just going to chill and let him get everything he wants and finish his development but I'm not I'm not going to be nice to God I'm out for blood he's probably going to resign here after Bishop e3 or he might even already resign yeah it's already so bad Rook c1 go here I mean he's going to resign I just don't know if he's going to resign this move or next move or in two moves uh yeah GG's Okay, next game. Let's keep going up to 39. So far, so good. Good win, by the way. It's crazy that I beat God, though, and I gain one point. Like, that's insane that I beat God and I get one point. That's just ridiculous. Okay, we got an easy pairing finally again. Uh, or should be easy. Doesn't mean it is easy, but it should be easy. What's going on? Should I play an alien gambit? No, let's not play the alien. Let's go e5. H3 is not a good move, by the way. I'm gonna try to attack the center of the board here right away. I'll be there. B3, terrible move too. At least he goes knight B6. He should have played F5, knight F6. That feels wrong too. Um, let's just go here.
Doesn't seem right. Let's go knight g3. Guard the pawn. Hit the pawn on h7 too. Go tickle and back. Oh, okay. Now he's going to resign, I think. That's GG. Yeah, he resigns. Next game, big win, 43. Jose won his game too, so he's he's right he's right behind me. Next game, let's keep going. Next game. Again, I get me Okay, let's go here and here. I think I'll play D three and just take. Oh, he takes. Interesting. Go back. I mean, I do have knight c4, maybe. I guess I'll just castle. Go knight c4. I'm gonna go here to hit the knight. I mean, I have f4, f5 somewhere too. Like bishop e5. Go f4. I'll go queen f3. Ah, that's a bad move. He had knight before, which I missed. Luckily, I have rookie two and I'm still fine. Just to guard the pawn against this trick. Logical. G there's a move. 95 is also a move. Um I'll just go here. Keep it simple. I'm down on time though, so I need to pick up this pick up the pace a little bit. Go here. At some point I'm gonna need to go like knight c3 or knight to 294 somewhere. Not happy with my position in this game, but it is what it is. He goes a4, which I don't know. I can reroute the knight back to c4. I think this is a little bit weird by him because now the knight gets a c4 with an outpost, and I should be fine. I also have rookie four to hit the pawn. This also stops a3, guards the pawn, pressures the center. I feel like now I should be better eventually. Logical. But again, I think I've misplayed this just very slightly. I'll go here and force a trade. Of course, now I'm going to take and go king h1. Because now I get the right structure with the knight versus the bishop. Um, let's go rookie four, of course. F5 makes sense here. With like rookie one, maybe. Goes E5, okay. Here, pressure the pawn on A4. Probably gonna go rook A. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna walk my king to the center of the board slowly. Or maybe even go to G3, depending what he does. Question is, how do I do this exactly? Like, I can play knight d2 and rook a4, maybe. It's not a free pawn, or am I crazy? Go back, and now I can just go b3, even. And now it's all a big lock. Yeah, now, now I should win the game. Um, go here, bring the queen in. Yeah, we're going to get the win pretty soon. I think even knight c5 works, but I'm just going to go queen c5. This knight on e4 is just so good. So, so good. Because now I'm threatening knight c5 to checkmate the king. Okay, let's go. Next game, 47.
go h5 play the standard lines I've had a pretty good first half yeah I mean I, I'm not gaining points but at least I'm not losing my shirt and I'm doing well I'm doing well like if, I, if I'm leading if I'm not down by 10 plus at the end of the out first hour to like Jose or someone I feel pretty good about my result generally I guess that's the simplest way of putting it I think I'll go here and play e6 later I mean I could play e6 anyway whenever I want but I'm way up on time Ho or not Jose sorry um Benjamin's like way down on clock already so I'm gonna need to press him on the clock later on let's go here Bishop g5 which looks a little bit weird to me castle I guess it's kind of stuck here because the pieces aren't where he wants them like the Bishop on g5 looks good but this pawn is weak so he can't go here which means my Knight is then good it was d5 I'm a little surprised to see that um the question which way I take You know what? I don't think I'm going to take action. I'm just going to go back. Jose won again, so he's on 42. Who we got? I think I'm going to play a5 and takes going to like 90s. Okay, let's just. I guess let's take and go here. I'm gonna take if he takes with c pawn I'm probably gonna take and take e4 and if he takes with the e pawn like I expect um I don't know what I'm gonna do but I think maybe just queen f5 makes sense here like rookie two ideas I mean it feels a little bit loosey-goosey like just trade and go here maybe Like rookie eight's incoming somewhere. Bishop d4 is not a move. I mean rookie eight's a move, but it's not the move I want to play. What do I play here? Come on, focus. Let's go rookie eight. Who cares? Benjamin very low on time, by the way. He's already down over a minute on the clock. So let's see what he does. If I'm getting tough pairings, that means Jose is also getting tough pairings. Rookie two's incoming, by the way, the classic kebab on the second rank. He just resigns. Let's keep going. Next game up to 51. Big win.